Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning into my show where today we've got the Tamiya Fiat 131 Abarth Rally. As you can see, I've already got the body painted. It still has a protective masking on it. Also still has most of the window masks still in there. So we're going to remove those. We've got some decals to apply to this body. Um, I've got the entire kit sitting here uh, completely opened up on the table. So we're starting right from scratch. The only thing that I've got a head start on again is the body. I've already mounted the tires and I did a little trick to get some foams as this kit does not come with foams. I did a little a little something something. We'll dive into that in a little bit, show you guys how I got some foams for this. And since this kit comes with friction shocks, which absolutely suck, uh, I happen to have a set of shocks from my M05 that I used to race back in the day. I've been hanging on to these for about 10 years, almost 10 years. <laughs> so it's nice they've finally got a second chance at life. So I've already got some oil shocks sitting here ready to go and ready to be installed. Other than that, we're gonna build this kit exactly as the instructions want us to build it. We're gonna use the kit supplied torque tuned brushed motor, and that's gonna be our starting point. From there, if we wanna modify, we want it to go faster, maybe go brushless, we'll look at that down the line. But for the time being, that torque tune motor gets this kit going pretty good. So we're gonna stick with that. But thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It really means so much to us content creators. And what that really does is it tells the YouTube algorithm that, hey, you viewers are enjoying the show. And when you enjoy the show, it bumps us back to the top, kind of promotes us a little bit. So please take a second, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean a ton. Thank you all so much. With that all out of the way, we got the tools of the trade. Let's get wrenching. And keep in mind when building your MF-01X, just as we've got three different wheelbase options, we've also got a low and a high ground clearance option. You can see here, so here on page 16 of the manual, we have the high ride height, which advises us to use this hole right here to gain the maximum ground clearance. Another thing to keep in mind is that this kit does not come with tire foams. Arguably, it should have. So if you have a set of tire foams, you're going to want to use them on this build. I happen to have a set of these three-stage crawler foams kicking around. I actually popped the center out, cut it in half, hollowed it out, and I made a pretty ghetto little foam that seems to work pretty good, actually. It's perfect. It was meant to be. There it is, guys, in all of its glory. She is done. Really simple build, just took a couple of hours, maybe three, three and a half hours or so. As you can see, I installed the optional, these are three racing oil-filled shocks that I had for, for an M05 Mini that I was racing back in the day. They fit right on here. And we've gone with the high ride height on the front and on the back. So with the chassis complete, now it's time to finish off the body. And I royally screwed it up. If you look right there, you see that black line? That's the that's the PS31, uh, the smoke, or like the window tint. Um, 
reminder, <laughs> when you're spraying this stuff, use very, very thin coats. It runs very easily, especially now that the weather's cooling off outside. Just ignore that for the time being. I'll fix it later on. Who does that ever look nice? Wow, that looks so good. <laughs> you know, I accepted the fact long, long, long ago that none of my bodies ever come out perfect, but I've got some pretty epic uh, screw ups on this body. I think because I was rushing it, really trying to get it done, rushing the paint. You just can't rush paint. You gotta take your time. And uh, I, I, I definitely rushed it. <laughs> and I've got some mistakes as a result. Um, you can see back here, you know, we've got some black bleed through there and the yellow that does not look very good. We've got the runs in the window right there, a bunch of black and the yellow up front. It's hard to see on camera there with the way the light is, but you know, it's, it's far from perfect. It's a little worse off than I thought it was gonna be, to be totally honest. I'm a little bit bummed out, but uh, Hey, what are you going to do? We're going to put some stickers on it. Then we're going to go back the heck out of it anyway, get it all scratched up so it all kind of looks good anyway. <laughs> now the sticker sheet, as we mentioned before, it does come with all the camel yellow stickers. So in this case, I decided to paint my lower camel yellow instead of using the stickers for it. So that's going to save us a whole lot of sticker applying time. Let's get our handy dandy manual out. And if you've never built a Tamiya kit before, you've never applied their stickers before, their stickers are numbered, as you can see there. Follow the numbers in order. Start with number one, go to two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's done by design. If you do it that way, you're never gonna run into a position where you know, you got a sticker that has to be moved or something like that. Let's get some stickers applied, see how it looks. Bye.